Pay attention to this video, guys. Yesterday, a very senior police officer who was interviewed by the Newsday stated that if you're going to go to the bank to do transactions, that you should consider hiring your own personal security. Now, let's take a look at this a little bit more closely and connect the dots. At a point in time in Trinidad and Tobago, and crime seems to be the number one thing on everybody's mind. There's a particular security company in Trinidad and Tobago that has gotten a contract to transport the prisoners, amounting to almost a hundred plus million dollars over a couple of years. Some people are asking, are these finances of a particular political party? Let's dive into this a little bit further. This particular security company has now acquired a license to bring in pepper sprays in Trinidad and Tobago. Is this luck or coincidence? Many people in Trinidad and Tobago have attempted to acquire permits to bring in pepper sprays and have had their merchandise seized by customs while trying to do so. Is this luck or coincidence that this particular security company seems to have all the inside knowledge? This same security company has now acquired the medical marijuana license in Barbados. It comes at a point in time where we headed into general elections in 2025. One has to ask the question, is this company already being given the head start? such that if medical marijuana is legalized in Trinidad and Tobago, that they would already have a foot inside the door. What is also interesting is at this point in time, the Prime Minister has flown out to Barbados for personal business. Coincidence? In the wise words of the current Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, I'm, I'm not really trying to interfere with the bridge between the rich and the poor because there's nothing wrong with the rich getting richer. While the poor people eat water grass and call it salad. Please share this video, guys.